Alright, well, I'm back at the area I was at before, but I'm going this way. Hell yeah. Oh, what? This used to be a fucking treasure chest? God damn it. Who fucking broke that? Was it you? You cunt? God damn it. I don't even know what was in there now. For fuck's sake. You know what? I'm so mad I just went to suicide. So it's gonna happen. Right now! Shit! I almost made it too. <laughs> Dicks. <clears throat> All right. Well, I really want whatever that is, so I'm gonna be having it. Shit. The fuck I was blocking. What? The. Shit! <laughs> Sip it up. Oh, man. <laughs> Poison broadsword. Hey oh Might be useful later. What am I talking about later? Already beat the fucking game. Just not New Game Plus, which changes dramatically compared to Dark Souls 1, by the way. Either way, that item has been attained. I really don't know what the other item was in the fucking broken treasure chest. Maybe that's supposed to be rubbish. Either way, it's bullshit. So let's go. Well, we're in Iron Keep now, and I died twice trying to get that. So. Excuse me, I just scratch my ear. I'm pretty sure I need the pyromancy that reduces my flame whatever thing. Who the fuck? Oh, you got that dumb helmet on, of course. Oh, there you are. I'm here in Medulla, thanks entirely to you. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. But if that might help you, come to me. Definitely does. Yatch. What you got? For me. Motherfucker. God damn. Okay. That's what I want. I'm always here. I'm always here. I like her. She's always upbeat and shit. Yeah, it's her juice. Where is it? Flash sweat? There we go. How you doing? Okay. I want to see how this works now. Whoops. So yeah, we're technically we're now in the land of Aldia. Another interesting tidbit of information. This was built entirely out of iron. This entire castle it may look like bricks to you. It's fucking iron. That's why it's all dilapidated and sinking into the ground. If you didn't notice, either that or. A beast was awakened that dragged this shit down in the... whatever. Either way, there are items that you can inspect. In the old... Uh, to solidify this theory. In the old Iron King's Great Iron Keep was a vast collection of weapons erected as a display of strength in the world. But they were lost when the king's conceit doomed the castle to sink into a lake of fire. Um... I guess I can look at his soul. I don't know if that's going to tell me anything, though. I'm pretty sure I still have it. Yeah. 
The Iron King's flesh was charred and his soul possessed by the things that lurk below. Okay. So I'm guessing some connection between Dark Souls 1, Isolith, Demons? Yeah. Who succumbed to the flames that swallowed his castle. Which, I mean, come on now. Fuck, how am I gonna get that shit? <sighs> Either way, let's see if this helps me out and lets me go across this and not die immediately. <laughs> Don't take massive damage. Human effigy, not worth it. Oh, I'm dead. <sighs> of course this fucking game would put an effigy somewhere. That would get me murdered. Such a fucking bullshit reward for dying. Yes. Hmm. I think I see what's going on here. It's the wrong thing. Urgh, take it. Go. Okay. I just need to make it over there. And so worthless. Oh, I didn't even get my souls. Fuck it. No, yes. There we go. So flash let sweat indeed helps get your shit back, I should say. Just rest the fucking bonfire. Let's go ahead and shove your fist in your chest again. Oh no, I still got it going. Mm, okay, we're good. <sighs> Believe me, there's more of that to come though, so... We will... We will have our fair share of that shit. By the way, that water... Just sprang off my body, that's flash sweat. Alright, so... Continuing on. Now we're at Marigold, this fucking what is creeper. That? A petrified egg in the shrine. Fantastic. Might, might give it to me. I'm fascinated by it. I'm begging you. Wait a minute. Okay, easy choice. Sweet. So that Dragon Remnant's Covenant allows you to duel other players, I think, and when you beat them you get uh, some kind of mark. When you turn in enough of those marks you get the armor that the dragon people have, which basically looks like a fucking dragon armor. Well, you again. Let's see what you got to say. Well, I'm mainly a treasure hunter, you see. Many a merchant on the side. A room of bang, looking for a find, following me instincts. I don't care what things worth. What matters is whether it grabs me. Do I enjoy what I do? Well, oh, that's a good question. I suppose I must. I, I've been doing it for ages. Yep. There's good iron in these parts. An old king even used it to build a castle. But the thing was too heavy. It slowly sank into the ground. Depends you got any more story? You know that old fella with the Hulk and blue sword? Oh, what? He talks really oily a bit. I got a feeling it's a fake. I didn't want to disappoint him, so I just sort of talked around it. Let me just say, there are lots of legendary swords out there. 
Interesting. Because there are two... There are two Moonlight swords you can get. It's the Moonlight Greatsword and the Moonlight something else. I'm pretty sure I have the Moonlight Greatsword from Benhart. Blue Moon. Okay, so... Wait a minute. Blue Moon? Where's the Moonlight one? Oh, I think if you kill Benhart, you get the Moonlight. You have quite unusual taste, don't you? Yeah, sure. You got anything else to say? The shrine on the eastern edge of Dragon Lake. Built to honor the dragons, they say. <sighs> if only I knew how to get there. I'd, I'd go and I'd kill you for good as. Hmm. I'm mainly a treasurer. Okay. Do I enjoy? I suppose I'm not. Very well. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Hmm. A fake. You know what? Let's inspect it. The blade of this greatsword shines like the brilliant rays of the moon. In the oldest legends rarely spoken of today, it is said that the sword was born of a great white being. Then, what explains this lifeless weapon? Perhaps there's been some mistake. thinking that's true. I'm, I really think that's supposed to be Blue Moon instead of, uh, not Blue Moon, but Moonlight, Great Sword. Hmm. 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 I gotta look into that. Give me a second. Okay. In New Game Plus, you get the soul that lets you trade in that you... I'm speaking nonsense. You get the soul. You get it. You get Seath's soul, basically. And you trade it in for the Blue Moon Greatsword, which does a devastating R2 attack that un that unleashes like some fucking... See? God damn it, I knew it. It unleashes some kind of fucking like... Um... Beam or something that deals physical damage. Or something like that. Wait, what does it say? Blah, blah blah magic sword when imbued to enchant it does zero damage is sword knowledge. Okay. Whatever. So yeah, it does it does some R2 attack that does awesome damage. And of course, fucking Grim, one of my friends, he's always like gung ho about shit that comes out immediately. Like if it's new, he's all about it. And he's like, Oh dude, let's do this. Let's do this right now. And then weeks later he'll drop it because it's not important to him anymore. One of which being like, oh man, did you hear about this fucking Jugo of Benhart guy? He's got the best armor in the game, best sword in the game. Bullshit. This sword's a fake. You don't even get the real one until New Game Plus. And the armor can fucking surpass that with any kind of fucking shit. Especially since Love Game told me... Let me, let me read this comment right here. Uh, if you beat the Smelter Demon on New Game Plus, you can buy the full Dragon Rider armor from the Merchant in Iron Keep. And it's actually really good. See? So, Grim. You know what? Grim, Triple J, John. Termless. Christopher Grimpo. All you fucks who gave up on this game, like, oh, I'm gonna level my character to 9999, I'm gonna be the best, I'm never gonna quit playing this game. They quit as soon as they beat it. They didn't even go to the new game plus, like, oh, I'm done. In fact, you done. i done with you. Just like kids today, as soon as they're done with a fucking game, they throw it to the side, like, nope, nothing more here. Fucking bullshit. There's so many nuances. That's why I love demons. Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. Because they have so much story that you have to look for. But all these other fucking dumb kids, they're all like, oh, beat the game, beat the game, new game plus. <laughs> they don't even look for it, they don't even care. And it's bullshit. So they end up beating the game like, oh, I'm dying, you fucking put it away. And that's it. If any of you are watching this video, fucking grow a pair of balls and play this game.
I've been in New Game Plus. Where the fuck have you been? Oh wait, I can I can tell you right now. You've been playing Dungeon Defenders or Warframe or fucking some other bullshit grindy ass game. Like WoW. Fucking WoW. Don't get me wrong, I love WoW, but shit. If I wanted to pay 15 bucks a month just so I could grind for a month and not progress my character at all, I would just fucking shoot myself in the face. And die. Because that's about as much fun as that sounds. Okay, enough of that. Continuing on with the item grind.